will stand up again, we will march again, we will preach again, we will organize again. We are black, we are white, we are Latino, we are Native American, we are Democrat, we are Republican, we are independent, we are people of faith, we are people not of faith, we are natives and immigrants, we are business leaders and workers and unemployed, we are doctors and the uninsured, we are gay, we are straight, we are students, we are parents, we are retirees. We are North Carolina, and we are here, and we ain't going nowhere. Hello, Durham. Dennis Gaddy, your criminal justice chair for the NAACP. And my reason for coming here today is to highlight the flavor of the current voter suppression strategy of our current legislation as it relates to formerly incarcerated persons and to let you in on what's going on. The current law of the land in North Carolina is that if you have completed your sentence and you have a felony and you completed your sentence, you have an automatic restoration to vote. You can get with the folks who are here today. If you've completed your probation and parole time, and finish your time, you can vote. You can vote. Now, if you, if you had a misdemeanor, if you had a misdemeanor, you never lost your right to vote. So don't get hung up on any of that. Don't get it twisted about you can't vote. You can vote in North Carolina after you've done your time. And we're going to fight even that later on on another day so that even after you get out of jail, you can vote even if you're on probation. In, in, I come to this work as one formerly incarcerated. Yes, and I use that term very intentionally. Not ex-offender, not ex-con. We in the formerly incarcerated community refuse to be labeled by the worst mistake of our lives. I'm, I'm a father, I'm a husband, church. And when we refer to X, we put people in a different space and place. And I refuse to be labeled by the worst mistake of my life. I've done some other stuff, y'all, other than just go to jail. Amen. In this past year, Senate Bill 721 was an attempt to add a five-year waiting period for people just to be eligible to vote after they've done their time. Did you hear what I said? After they've completed their sentences. As part, and as part of their voter suppression strategy to suppress the vote of those who have completed their sentences before they will be eligible to vote. And even then, no automatic restoration. It would take a majority vote from your local board of elections to decide. Can you believe that? That's the new Jim Crow for real. And we made the point that you cannot deny people the right to vote after they've done their time. And they hurt us and it never got out of rules. So we rallied, we got people calling and it, and it never got out of the rules committee, as I said. But you know what? We can't sleep on that victory. Because that just let us know what they're up to. And we need to be on the lookout for the same kind of craziness the next time around. So we need to be prepared to stand up against all forms of voter suppression, especially for those who paid their time to society. Forward together. Come one step back.